Hi guys, this is RJ Van Alcaide Zamora from BS Ed 1G. So ayan, gusto ko lang i-share. I always think about it. Uh-huh. Lagi ko kasing naiisip on how our language or words came to be. I mean, paano sila nag-start? Paano sila nabuo? Paano sila ginawa? Kailan? Papaan? What is the first word na nautal ng mga tao noon? So, curious din ba kayo? Ah, kunwari, oo, oh, oo, oh, oo, oh, oh, ayan. Oo, oh, oo, oh, ayan. So, let me introduce to you sa isa sa mga theories na pinaniniwalaan nila. O, oh, isa sa mga theories na nag explain ng origin ng ating language. So, we have the Bow Wow Theory. The, or, the Sound Mimicry, ibig sabihin paggaya. Gaya-gaya po to maya. So, ganun ang ating mga ancestors noon. So, ano yung ginagaya nila? This theory, it explains people imitates the sounds coming from animals or the things that are present in the natural world. Ibig sabihin, kung ano yung nakikita nila na gumagawa ng sound, yun yung ginagaya nila. Parang ito. <coughs> So, in this theory, mamimit natin ang word na onomatopoeia. Say, onomatopoeia, onomatopoeia. Oh, 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 oh. Huwag mo nang pa-spell sa akin, baka mamali ako. <laughs> so, ang word na onomatopoeia, these are words... Ano ba? Onomatopoeia is when a word's pronunciation imitates its sound. As for example, ribbit, ribbit, or cockock, cockock of a frog. So, cockock there is the sound of the frog. And relatively few words are onomatopoeic. And these words vary from one language to another. As for example, sa aso. Sa Pilipinas, ang tunog ng aso ay aw-aw. Sa China naman is wang-wang. Tapos, sa Albania naman, ham ham So, so that is the Bow Wow Theory. Sana naintindihan nyo yung explanation ko. <laughs> Bye!